Well guys, we are now officially about to reach the month of April, and within four months of this year already, we really haven't gotten any presentation or showcase or any new announcements for Nintendo, and in fact, there's not a whole lot to look forward to. With Ominous Ocean, Luminous, and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door remake coming out in May, that leaves us with only Luigi's Mansion 2 in June. So yeah, this schedule's looking pretty light, and Nintendo hasn't announced anything so far. The previous rumors were suggesting we were going to get a big Switch 2 blowout in the month of March, which is the month that we're in now but apparently there was some type of internal delay which pushed everything back. And for the first three months so far, it's been pretty lackluster. There hasn't been any major events, and any direct that we've gotten has only really been a partner showcase, so only focusing on third-party games yeah, we really haven't gotten anything from the big end themselves. The only new game that we know of this entire year was Princess Peach Showtime, and it's out already. You could also say Ominous Ocean, even though it's kind of a second party type of situation, but at the same time, yeah, it was really just Princess Peach, so yeah, we need something new. Now, there's been reports suggesting that there could very well be a Nintendo Direct in the month of April, which is coming up very soon, and some type of big Switch 2 blowout presentation in the month of June, which seems like it adds up pretty right. But with that said, what in the world would Nintendo want to show off in an April Nintendo Direct? Is it even worth having a Direct in April if you're just going to show off a big brand new console and tons of big huge AAA games coming to that console just a couple of months later? Well, that's what I'm here to talk about. How likely is a Nintendo Direct in April, and what type of Nintendo Direct are we even looking at here. Before we continue guys, you are amazing. You have been showing so much support recently and we are still on our road to 300,000 subscribers and you can make it happen by stopping what you're doing right now. Pause the video, leave a like and subscribe. Let's see how many people we can get to subscribe. Subscribe if you're excited for a potential Nintendo Direct but let's get on to the video. So I know there's a lot of Switch 2 haters out there still that think it's just not happening, and I still see the comments every single day that says there's no Switch 2 coming, and it's weird, because yes, of course, let me also clarify, we don't know what the name of it is, it's impossible to give it a name right now, so yes, I will be calling it Switch 2 for the sake of this video, but with that said, a lot of people still don't think that console is coming, and I don't know why when Nintendo has definitely had an off year. Nintendo never starts the year without hosting some type of general Nintendo Direct. Direct, or maybe even a mini direct. I mean, they've only had a partner showcase, and I think that's very telling. They didn't have any first party games ready to show, and why wouldn't they? Why would they not have anything ready, anything big? I mean, it's still time for the next big 3D Mario. It's time for maybe Mario Kart soon. It's time for other IPs to get ready to shine once again. It's clear that they're holding them off for the next console, and that they want to wait and present this thing with all these new games. That's very evident, because they would have had a General Direct already. Now, that is what leads me to believe there could be something smaller for the month of April. I do believe that there's two different directions Nintendo can take this thing. And the first direction is just a mini Direct. I think there's a chance we just get a mini show. And then for the next couple of months, we write out any games that were in that show. And then boom, you're already in June, with the last release of the year being Luigi's Mansion 2. And then boom, you can reveal the Switch 2, and all the amazing games that are going to come with it at the beginning of next year. Now, what would be in this mini direct, and why would they only have a mini direct? Well, I think the Switch is done with games. I think we've seen everything big that is to come to Nintendo Switch, and I think Princess Peach Showtime was the last original big new game. That's it. I think the rest of the games that we get are going to be ports, remakes, or remasters that are still left on other consoles that Nintendo wants to get out to the mainline Switch. I think they're still sitting on tons of finished remasters or even remakes that they just want to reveal, and it's just a matter of time until they reveal them. And I think a lot of them could just be shadow dropped like they've done in the past, and there's a lot still on the table. You still have Metroid Prime 2 and 3. You have The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Not to mention you could do something like F-Zero GX that's been rumored for for a very long time. There's apparently that Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War remake coming. Uh, there's a lot of other games in the pipeline that could be coming, like the Kid Icarus Uprising remake that we've all been asking for, or even just a slight remaster um, in the same vein as Luigi's Mansion 2 got. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff Nintendo could reveal in a mini direct, just to sprinkle out some releases until we get closer to the time of Switch 2 information. And I think that's all they need to do. Because honestly, if I'm sitting here trying to think of a big game they could reveal, I don't know what it would be. I feel like it's definitely time for Donkey Kong, and I think everybody also agrees it's time for Donkey Kong, but it just might be too early for that, and especially on the wrong console. I feel like if there is a big brand new 2D Donkey Kong or even 3D Donkey Kong, this is a game that's going to come out on Switch 2, and not a game that they're going to release on the current Switch. And then that leaves the only other possible game that they could reveal and release this year would be Metroid Prime 4, and I just do not think that game is ready yet. I know a lot of people are still holding on to some hope that that could be the holiday game, and as there is 
a potential, I'd rather it just be on the next console because I want it to run flawless. I want it to look beautiful and I know the Switch's current hardware struggles. I mean, even with Princess Peach Showtime, it struggled. So I want to see it on better, more powerful hardware. And I think the best decision is just to wait. Now, based on the current, you know, rumors with quotation marks, it's hard to really tell what's true and what's not anymore unless it comes from the mouth of Pioro. Uh, but they're suggesting that it could be a general direct, which just doesn't make sense to me. If they have a general direct now and then two months later have a big presentation for Switch 2 and show all the games coming to it, what's the point? Like, I don't think they have enough for a general direct. I think an audience, you know, a general audience will watch this direct, especially since they haven't announced Switch 2 yet, and see a general direct full of more remakes and remasters and ports and be like, what's going on, Nintendo? Where's our big stuff? Because not everybody's on this Switch 2 train. So until Nintendo announces this new console, people are looking for big announcements. And a general Nintendo Direct right now, I feel like it's not gonna give those announcements. There might be more spin-offs, maybe another Mario Party game or Mario Sports title for the end of this year or something along those lines. Maybe another like Hyrule Warriors or small spin-off title that are still left, more remakes, remasters, and ports, but I still feel like they need some of those big titles to really drive the beginning of the show, the middle of the show, and the end of the show, especially the ending, but I feel like this can still happen, and this is how it would happen. The only way I see this being a general Nintendo Direct is if Nintendo feels like ending the show with a big, huge Switch 2 game. They don't have to say it's Switch 2 related. They don't have to come out and say, oh, this is the game, the first game coming to Switch 2 or launch title for Switch 2. They could just end the show and say, take a look at this, and it's the next big 3D Mario, or it's the next Mario Kart, or it's just Metroid Prime 4. And they just say, coming in 2025. And they don't have to reveal the new console. They don't have to say anything about the new console. This can all be talked about at a later date in that June presentation and they're good to go could you imagine if they show off some just like really small titles and they just out of nowhere in the show with the big open world 3d mario game that's been rumored for so long that would be phenomenal the more and more I sit on it, I just feel like a general direct just doesn't seem possible right now. It could happen, but I feel like normally I don't think we've ever had a general direct that just had remakes, remasters, and ports. There's always been some type of big announcement or some type of big game that they could show off, and I feel like they don't have that right now. They need to show that right now, because right now there's no hype for the near future of Nintendo, and they need to generate that hype with a either big game or a Switch 2 presentation. But either way, I'm sure something is getting ready to shake up. Nintendo cannot keep going all the way throughout the first half of this year without any big AAA title in the future or any big announcement on their next hardware because the Switch, yes, it is slowly starting to decline now. After some really big sales, we're starting to see shareholders lose interest. We're starting to see, you know, the Switch itself starting to slowly decline. It is the time to starting to get ready to announce this new console and announce some big games. But let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. Do you think we're getting a Nintendo Direct next month? Do you think it's going to be a general or a mini? Let me know your predictions and your thoughts down below and thank you so much for tuning in make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out and like always i'll see you all on the next one see you guys